Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. We are going to be going on an exciting adventure today. I am going to be biking from Fukuoka city to Itoshima city and I love Itoshima. I've been there many times but usually I take the train from Fukuoka to Itoshima and then rent a bicycle there. But today I am going to be taking my own bicycle and biking from the heart of Fukuoka along the water into Itoshima. So I'm super excited for this trip. I am going to be showing you a lot of the sights along the way. Hopefully in enjoying some of the seafood that Itoshima has and enjoying this beautiful day. It was super bad weather up until now, but we have a great day. So going to soak up this sun and show you spring in Fukuoka. Let's go. I would actually love to stay a little bit longer in Ohori Park. Right now it's so beautiful. We have the swan boats. The cherry blossoms are a little late, but they are starting to bloom. And there's just so much vibrancy, more people than I've ever seen before. And there are tulips, so it is super beautiful. Make sure for sure if you come to Fukuoka to come to Ohori Park and enjoy the beautiful spots that there are around here. From Ohori Park, the first stop on our list will be to go to Fukuoka Tower. So we are headed there now. It says it should take about 15 minutes to get to Fukuoka Tower from Ohori. And uh, I'll show you the sights when we get there, but it is right by the beach and we'll also pass by the Peipei Dome. So enjoy the ride as we head toward Fukuoka Tower. The route right now is not too exciting. We're still pretty much in the heart of the city so we've got a lot of cars and stoplights, buildings, convenies. So it's pretty noisy right now but hopefully as we start to get a little bit away from the city we'll have some nicer sights to enjoy. So we are taking this little path getting closer to the water. Peipei Dome is on our right. This bronze shining dome. This is where the Fukuoka, uh, what is it? The SoftBank Hawks play. It is the uh, Fukuoka team. It's very lively inside and fun. And if you're into baseball, watching a baseball game in Japan is a great activity to do. We made it to Momoshihama, which is a beach here in Fukuoka. Over to my left, we have Peipei Dome, which we got to see across of the way. And over behind me, we have Momochi Beach. And this is a very popular place for locals to come to in the summer. There are restaurants and places to just relax and uh, enjoy the water. And then behind the trees, right over here, you can see the very tip top of the Fukuoka Tower. So they are all in the same area and let's take a little ride with the water to our side. It's a beautiful day today. Only one thing about Momochihama is that the waters aren't particularly clean and so while people do swim here it's not something I like to do. I prefer to swim in the beaches more south, southwest of here, which is where we'll be going today. So of course if you want to cool down you can dip in but preferably for me it's not my favorite beach to swim in here but it's nice as it's easily accessible from the city center. And this little spot here has some foods. There's a taco shop called Taco Mia. There's a barbecue place where you can grow your own seafood on the beach. There is Blue Seal ice cream, which is a popular Okinawa ice cream. So you can definitely find something to chow down on here. So we have made it to Fukuoka Tower. You can see the tower right over here. It is very, 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 very tall. Woo. So like I mentioned, you can go up to the top of the tower and it is pretty cool. Even at night, they have light up that uh, 
the tower is lit up depending on the season. So right now it is cherry blossom season, so you can see cool cherry blossom light ups on the sides of the tower. But this is really close to the beach that we just biked through. And now we are going to be going to the next part. We are going to Oro Park, making our way to Itashima. So let's hope that this good weather continues and enjoy the bike ride. Let's go to Oro Park. On the top of the hill, over and up to the left, is Otago Shrine, which is a shrine that has good cherry blossoms and a great lookout at Fukuoka Tower. If you come at night, it has a good night view, so you can see the illuminations. Now this might not be the most direct course to bike to get to Itashima, but I'm trying to see the water as much as possible, so we'll call this the, the seaside biking course to try to take in this beautiful geography that Fukuoka has being right next to the water but also surrounded by mountains. All right, we are riding by another beach. This beach is called Otagohama and is right next to the previous Momochihama. I think this water is already a little bit nicer and clearer, but over here there are no big restaurants, there are no big uh, eating spaces, so definitely a much quieter place. So we are coming to the end of Otago Beach, but I wanted to point out some cool landmarks that we have around us. Oh my gosh, my hair is ridiculous. Whew. Anywho, this is an island. This island is called Nokonoshima, and it is an island that has an island park that has a lot of uh, seasonal flowers, and it was also the place that I watched fireworks in the summer from across the water. And then we have some other islands, and then you can see mountains in the distance. Pepe Dome, I've already mentioned many times, is also here too. So. Not only do you get to get some exercise on this bike ride, but you get to see some of the very famous landmarks that Fukuoka is known for. Let's continue. We are continuing on the journey and we are going to be crossing another bridge and this time getting close to the area called Marinoa. This is a spot that is known for its outlet malls. So big shopping space and you can see that there was a Ferris wheel. So another very popular place for people to come to as families, with friends, uh, to enjoy the weekend and do a little bit of shopping for fun. So the bridge we're crossing now, we're going to the Marinoa city, Fukuoka. This is what I mentioned is where the outlets are. Not gonna be stopping by now, but it is a point of interest along the way. It's gotten a lot quieter as we keep going on our journey and it's nice to have a bit of peace as we bike. So we have made it to Oro Park. This is just another park continuing on our road and there are some people enjoying hanami lunch today. There are some sakura trees it looks like. They aren't quite fully bloomed but it looks like a great picnic spot and I want to continue on to the journey so I'm not going to spend too much time here but just wanted to show you that this is another location that you can enjoy along the way. Oro Park in Fukuoka. Working out over the sea where we are right now is actually where I am going to be later this afternoon when we go to the cafe or restaurant for lunch. So we're going to be biking from here all the way across, across to the other side. We are now on some smaller inner streets and continuing this bike ride. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm trying to decide if I want sashimi rice bowl tonight or this afternoon, or if I want Taiwanese Itashima fusion food. So I have a little bit of time to decide, but thinking about food already, time has flown as we've enjoyed this bike ride. Google Maps is bringing me to this little spot. I have to get up some rocks, it looks like, but we'll be on a course that goes right by the water. Eene. Look.
We are now on this lovely bike path that is literally right by the water. We're going to be getting a lot of this site for the next part of the bike ride. But look, you can see people just come here to look out into the sea, hear the waves, and yeah, we really are far away from the city now. So it's quite a nice spot to be by yourself and take in Fuoka. It is a beautiful day today and this area is so few of people right now. I can count a total of one, two, three, four, five people in this whole vicinity. I could imagine buying some food from the store, coming here and having a little picnic or reading a book. And then there's a little bit of beach area farther down where we'll pass in a little bit. This part of the path is a little bit sandy. Hopefully it gets better paved, because right now I am walking, but it looks like it gets a little bit better up ahead. But we have these trees and the sound of the ocean right next to us. And it looks like there's a little shrine gate, Twitty gate, here too. Oh, look at that. So here at Google Maps, I disagree with it saying that I can continue along this trail to the destination, but it's really sandy and has a lot of um, tree roots, so I don't really want to be biking over this. So I'm just gonna cross over one street to be onto the main road. We won't see the water while we're biking there, but it will definitely be a lot easier and faster than trying to stay on this rugged path here. So we are back on the road. It feels much better on the tires. This bike is not really an off-road bike, so it's much faster to be going. We're just one little hop over from the beach area, so I can still see the water actually through the trees, but definitely a lot better to come this route than to stay on the beach. Now we are biking right by the water, and it is a little tiny dedicated path, but I can smell the sea smells so, so oceany, and it's right here to my right that it's really nice. Of course, there's lots of cars, but right now at least, I have my own little lane on this sidewalk, but we are continuing and enjoying that we are so close to nature right now. I wasn't quite sure what the road would be like for this part of the journey because this is new to me, but it is really great right now. I don't wanna test my luck, but to have this little sidewalk is nice. And in Japan, it is actually allowed in most places for bikes to use a sidewalk. So it makes you feel more comfortable and definitely recommend that. So we have come up to this place. It is a restaurant called The Ocean House, but it is supposed to be a pretty fancy place. I was thinking about coming here for lunch, but decided to go a little bit farther before I stop. If you bike, make reservations. I heard it's very popular and enjoy a lunch or a dinner here. It seems like a perfect thing to do. Right after the Ocean House, I am now at this new beach or seaside park. It's called the Nagatare Seaside Park. Looks like there's some play structures for kids. Not a huge beach. The sand looks a little white and full of debris, but big expansive field, bathrooms and whatnot for anyone in this area who wants to get a little bit of ocean time. This part definitely does not feel like Japan to me. Feels a little bit San Diego-y, if I do say so. 
I still can't believe where we are and that we were just over here about an hour ago. I can still see the Fukuoka Tower, the um, Ferris wheel from the Marino City Fukuoka area, and there are little planes taking off and going into the city, but just a short bike ride away, we have all of this at our fingertips. Super fun. We are crossing another bridge, and this one has quite an interesting view on the left. But it's great, we have a dedicated bike lane. So we are going a little bit away from the water for now, but you can see that we are now by farms. And Itashima is known for a lot of the produce that is grown here. There are Ichigo strawberry picking farms. There are dairy places. Actually, this is a Ichigo farm that we are stopping, that we are riding by right now. You can see the sign here. But yes, each, uh, there are lots of good foods that you can enjoy in Itashima, from the seafood to the fruit to the grains. Lots of it in this little spot. A little bit of off-roading again, courtesy of Guru Mapuru. But it looks like it's short-lived, and we have the path again right here. Whew. Now we are biking next to the Genko Buri, Genko Buri Imazu area. So you can see there's a lot of pine trees again, just like there were in the uh, other area we were in. But also lots of veggies next to us on the left. So for lunch options in this area, one of the things that looked really good to me were the bowls of sashimi over rice. And there is this restaurant here, the Itohan Shokudo, that looks like they have delicious uh, seafood dons, but they are closed on Wednesday. So not a place I'm going to be going to today, but definitely looks super good. And you have a beautiful view of the water when you eat on that balcony. So. If you are into seafood, then this looks like a great place to try and I'll have to come back and try it next time I'm here. Okay, it looks like we have come to the Moon 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 Cafe. Up ahead, you can see their little banner and I'm excited to see what they have here. Let's check out what this cafe has. We have this view right next to the sea, and then this menu, which has both sweets and food sets. So lots to look at. Oh baby, we have a frozen mango drink. Gotta get some sugar back into my system. And then we have a Taiwan mazemen noodle dish with all of these condiments. I just finished my late, late, late lunch meal at the Moon 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 Cafe, and it was really good. It is a bit of Taiwanese Itoshima fare, and so I had a maze men soba set and a um, mango frozen drink, so that helped cool me off and gave me a little bit of sugar. And now I'm going to be heading towards the hotel that I'm going to be staying at tonight. You can actually continue down this road and this is a route that I've gone to before in one of my previous videos. There is the Sunflower Cafe and then I've done a route where I go to the Palm Swing Park and the Futamigaura Shrine. So if you want to see that, check out that video. But today I'm going to go to a different route and see a new hotel that I've never been to in Itoshima. So from the Moon 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 Cafe where I just had a late lunch and frozen snack, it's about 20 minutes to the Glocal Hotel that I am going to be staying at tonight. 
I made reservations online and I am pretty excited because there's supposed to be a large public bath and what was really nice too is that the hotel comes with a lot of amenities so I have been able to travel very light. This view is one of my favorites. Literally no one else in sight. Green fields, some running trickling water to the right, and mountains, blue sky. Ah, beautiful. This is why Fukuoka is amazing. Holy moly, it's so beautiful. Just these little mountains and the green green little fields surrounding it. So quiet too right now. Just some soft birds in the distance chirping away. Up ahead we have the hotel for tonight, Seto Glocal Hotel Itoshima. It is this colorful rectangle building. Oh, perfect, they have bike parking. Nice. Well, I've arrived at the Glocal Hotel. I just put up my bike woo, on this super handy bike stand and now I'm going to check in. I am really looking forward to the bath that they have and just to settle down and relax a little bit. I'll have to find somewhere local to eat for dinner, but until then, I will be relaxing and taking in this hotel. Ooh, it's a nice big hotel. Then there is the buffet and breakfast area over here. We have the morning buffet, dinner buffet, and there's also a local map. So you can see where we are and some places nearby. single room the simple single it's kind of like a business hotel but fancier so this will be my hotel for tonight one of the reasons why I chose the hotel that I'm at now is because you have access to this Ito no Yudokoro which is both a hot spring and dining area and also a fitness club so let's go check it out put your shoes in Lock it and give it to the staff. I just finished bathing and it was so nice. They have a ton of different baths, some of them inside, some of them outside, different saunas. There was this salt sauna where you could barely see in front of you, as well as massage baths. And this was all included with the hotel that I stayed at. It's a different building, but I can access it for free. And then I paid 500 yen to go to the rock sauna and that was where there are different rooms of different temperatures and you could sit and relax in these hot sauna rooms. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on this bike ride from Fukuoka City to Itoshima. I thought it was a super fun bike ride and was wowed by the the beautiful water that was around me almost the whole time. And today's weather was really great. I was super thankful for that. The blue sky with the waves and the smell of the ocean during certain parts of the ride was so nice. So big, big happiness for that. And this was actually the first time that I've done kind of a long bike ride and I had to do a bit of preparation for my bike. I recently got this Rock Bros um, bike bag and this was really nice. I'm super glad that I got it because I got to put a lot of stuff in the bike bag and so it wasn't on my backpack um, trying to minimize the weight there. So I was really happy that I had that and um, yeah, it's just... I took way longer than I was supposed to supposed to take uh, and it's because every five minutes I was getting off my bike, taking photos, taking videos. So definitely I think if you're just zooming through you can get here from Fukuoka City in about an hour and a half if you don't stop but I think stopping is what makes it fun and I get to capture and share the memories with all of you guys so I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions about Itoshima please let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you again on the next adventure.